Okay, Justin, this is um, this booth we had at the two malls in Brampton uh, for about three weeks, and it was really nice about that mall people called us and said, we got it. Are you Yeah. yeah. So, uh, <laughs> and he's going to end this week. Uh, we're going to help rebuild. Yeah, let's make sure that we... Uh, this is our event on Saturday. Only three weeks before we go in. I'll squeeze it. There we go. Crumpled still works. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. It's like to eat. Good reason. It's yeah. delicious food. All right, so I'll give you a picture of that. Of course. Oh, this is amazing. Uh, number one. They look up the Gaudi Vida, which is like habitat for humanity. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, a tremendously important work you're doing at, at all times, but particularly important here. Yeah. We plan to build 20,000 homes for that type of survivors. Yeah. We sent an invitation to your office today because the uh, Embassy of the Philippines is hosting a gala in December 5 in Montreal. In Montreal. Okay. And we wanted you to be our guest. Just in case you are. Uh, my office will take a look at it. I sent it to them directly. Good. Good. Okay. And it's a little short one. Yeah. I got the profile of the uh, Gawatuna for you just to take a look at it. Yes, we'll give it to Tommy. Yes, we'll give it to Tommy. Can I have another handshake? Yes. Sir, can I have another handshake? Of course. Of course. Sure. <laughs> I really want to say, uh, first of all, uh, to everyone uh, working in various community organizations, how uh, important it is uh, the work uh, that you all do. I want to highlight, of course, uh, the presence of uh, Minister uh, Linda Jeffries, uh, a dear friend who's been uh, tremendously supportive and is always. Uh, is always here uh, in terms of uh, supporting the community and has been uh, uh, been a great support for me as well. Of course, to the uh, uh, Filipino community, Magandang uh, Tanghali Po! It's great to see you all. It's uh, amazing to see. I was in uh, Winnipeg just a few months ago, a few weeks ago, meeting with uh, members of the community uh, after... Uh, Thank you. Uh, members of uh, the community following the terrible uh, typhoon, uh, people of have coming together. And I think one of the things that we have to remember is uh, right now the attention of the world, the attention of all Canada uh, is on uh, the Philippines and on the challenges that have been faced. Uh, but in the coming months, in the coming years, uh, as the work continues in terms of rebuilding uh, the many communities and islands that were devastated by Haiyan, uh, it's important to uh, remind people that the Filipino Canadians uh, and the Canadian government will continue uh, to be part of the uh, long-term work of uh, restoring stability and opportunity uh, to the beautiful Philippines. So I, I thank you all for, uh, uh, for all the donations and the hard work you've done. Uh, we've been pushing on the government. In general, I'm not going to make any sort of partisan statements about this. Uh, we're pleased with the government ha has done so far. Uh, I'm pleased that they extended the, the uh, matching donations until the end of December. That's actually something I suggested. Uh, but uh, uh, we also asked to make sure, because we heard from members of the community, uh, to make sure that there is an opportunity to extend uh, you know, visas uh, for visitors, for students, for temporary workers from the affected areas. Uh, so that they don't have to go back at the end of their term to uh, a place that is devastated. And that's, that's something that we're continuing to push on the government, but it's, it looks like they're going to be moving on that. So uh, I really have uh, no complaints, and it's, it's nice to be able to say uh, that in this, in this case, uh, all Canadians and all parliamentarians are united uh, in wanting to rebuild uh, a stronger uh, stronger. So thank you all very much for uh, not just your dedication, uh, to any one community, but to all communities uh, so well served here uh, through Community Door, through uh, the different organizations that are uh, housed here, uh, the volunteerism that each and every one of us has to shape our world for the better through our hard work, you know, expecting other people to do it, uh, but to know that we can each be part of it uh, is something that we can all be proud of as Canadians. So uh, thank you all very much. Uh,